Welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we are going to show you a new feature that came out in 2011 that allows you to upload cover images to item records. This is fantastic. And there's great use cases that could be used for this. So although we said last week it was our last upgrade feature, we were going to show you another one because this one came to our attention and we thought it's too cool not to talk about. Yeah. So this week, we're going to show you an example like how you can add those item covers and just some of the system preferences that tie in. So first, what we'll do is we'll pull up one of our examples and we have some garden tools in here. So we're going to pull up our digging shovels. So you'll notice here we have three items that are attached to the um, digging shovel. So when we come in here, you'll notice that we have a new column that is labeled cover image. Now, as you've been watching our past Monday minutes, this ties into your table settings. So if this is something that you do not want to use, you can go into your table settings and just click it to hide it in the, in the system. But now you can easily upload cover images to the item record. This is fantastic. So you could have just one basic bib record for a variety of gardening tools, or in this case, a variety of digging shovels. I'm learning there's a lot more shovels than just the regular one. So you could allow your patients to see which shovel, which shovels are available in your library. So you'll notice down here, we have a action button next to the edit actions, and that allows me to upload an image. So when I select that, I can come in and begin the process of uploading that image into the system. So again, this is just a really great way to be able to do that. Now, let's talk about a system preference here, Kelly. Allow mm -hmm. multiple images. Yep. So if you wanted to add multiple images to this item, you can do that. And that is a system preference called allow multiple images cover images, and you would need to make sure that's turned on so you could have more than one. And if you wanted to replace an existing one that you had in there, you'll notice it's that same option that you have for the bibliographic records. So once we're done, we'll process that image and it will add it right into that final record. So let's go back and take a look. Oh, one has an orange handle. So that plastic kind of handle, and then another one's like a metal handle. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nifty. Now, if at any time you want to make an edit or delete this item, all you have to do is click on the image itself. That's going to bring up a little modal window where, if you notice, down at the bottom, there is a black banner. That black banner will say local cover image, and there's an edit button. If you click on that, that will take you where you can actually view the image. And then if you do want to delete it, you can come right over to the right-hand side click delete, and then that would remove it from the system. I have this exact shovel at home. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. And even the brand. Yep. Let's do one more. So okay. we'll upload just to make this complete. So we'll come over here again, choose file, select our shovel, add it in, upload. And just like that, we can process that image and get it in there. So Kelly said one of the great examples she heard about was um, serials. So maybe if you wanted to upload, we were talking about like a Martha Stewart or whatever you're reading in the. Well, you know, it's interesting to think it could be an advantage to libraries that have heavy periodical usage mm -hmm. to be able to see that cover. Um, yep. I worked with a library that um, was doing a lot of specialized periodicals and they wanted people to see the cover. So this would really work for them to be able to say, yes, it's this issue because that person's on the front or it mentions this where you can kind of see it. Yes. Well, this is great. Um, there is one extra uh, option that you have, and this goes for bibliographic cover records as well. In the tools module, you can come in to the upload um, option underneath the additional tools. And you can search for terms down there. So if we came in here and we searched for shovel, that would show us those three items in there and you can delete them or download them this way too. So Koha always gives you multiple options and that's the other way. Yeah, just don't forget what you named your file. And, then <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the worst at that. So just remember what you were, Jesse was very prepared, shovel one, two, three. Mine would just say like, 
a file or something. So this is fantastic. I really hope that libraries use this feature because I think it will be really valuable to some libraries and just another fun upgrade coming this fall. All right. Wonderful. Have a great week. See you next week. See you next week.